Rowan and I scoured Reddit, beauty blogs, and the best skincare stores in Japan and Taiwan to find the most loved and trending skincare makeup and hair care items for each other. We packed it all up, shipped them off, fingers crossed it makes it. Off to go! But will we actually enjoy these products? Let's find out. Ready? I have been waiting for this for 40. Me too! What do you think is gonna be in there? Candy. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, Whoa. wait, wait, what is this? Do you know what that is? Itadakimasu? No, no, it's not Itadakimasu. It's called Nichiwa Rosa! There is beauty within, fells. Aww, so cute! This is what Rose Package looks like! Okay, so then I was thinking, after you open it, let's run each other through the idea of each box. <laughs> Yours is packed so well. <laughs> wow! I poured through Reddit and like all these beauty blogs and forums to find the top Taiwanese brands in Taiwan. The box contains all the current best, most hype, most loved from skincare, of course, to lip amazing mask. Gera. So my box for you, our top three ranking at Cosme, the most popular app that all the Japanese girlies use. And on top of that, just like random things that I thought you might like, including some, <laughs> yes, I forgot that. So like I was recently obsessed with collectibles and I'll explain why I chose that one. Okay, so find a rectangular white box. This one? Yes, there's another one. Pure. This guy? Yes, there's another one. <laughs> Chaos. Oh wait, now I see it. Yay! When I was in Japan, I realized how serious the Japanese were about their lotion sprays. Hmm. This one specifically was top three. I finished this! Yeah. <gasps> First impression. Intensive moisture care. Deep moisture spray. Woo! It's wow! This feels like cream skin, even the finishing. Yes! But like a tiny bit lighter. You know how cream skin's very yeah. like tacky afterwards? Whoa. But not really. okay. Instantly supple. Like this one single handedly changed my skin. Wow. Third layer. You're just not as forgiving on the eyes. I'm a fan. Okay, open the white box. Decorte. Oh, it's for makeup and? Yes. It actually has these light illuminating fragments in it. So it makes your skin uh -huh. look really refreshed and glowy. Whoa. Wait, this is so cute. It's like a mouse. <laughs> so it is like a dual mist if you look at it. I don't know if you realize they really love that floral fresh fragrance. They do. So it's like more, I would say, a makeup wow. setting spray to lock your makeup in place. This is so cute. It's so cute. Next, we have this one. One for me, one for Rick. I want you to try it as a spray toner because it is very moisturizing, even though it is so fine. Whoa. Mmm. This one leaves the skin more nourished. This one I feel like mm -hmm. is a little bit more lightweight and summery. They're all very different. <laughs> Aloe Barrier Mistin D program. Yes, I think it was like the top rated barrier mist. Defends delicate skin and develops confidence in your own beauty. We love that. I didn't get this for myself, but I thought this would be totally for you for dry skin because it's got the aloe barrier technology that supposedly keeps your skin moisturized for like hours. For as humble of a bottle and spray, it is so fine. Wow, and it, it has that whoosh, whoosh. My skin is just drinking it up. A fan. I got you one toner. The fact that this is like a bi-phase copper peptide toner. This is like something super creamy and milky. And when you do shake it, it just turns into like a very nice cream texture. Fun fact, peptides are blue. Love toners. And the next is serums. Wow. We got so many serums. Neogents. So this is one of the top skincare brands in Taiwan. Beep. The retinol I saw and I wanted to get for you. I think it's like a combination of four different types of retinol. I've used this once since I got it since I wanted to finish my isn'tree. It's, it's definitely- It's up there. It's up there, yes. It's definitely more up there. Like I felt the 
the skin around my nose get like super itchy the morning after and I was like, yeah. ooh, I should wash my face. Because 1% is actually pretty high for vitamin A. So, so yeah. I thought you would love it. The oil, the reason why I got the oil, they're squalene prickly pear. It's also tamanu. What most of us know tamanu as now is through crave, which is amazing. Tamanu is really good for inflammation and kind of skin healing for hyperpigmentation. It's interesting because tamanu oil normally smells very earthy. It's got a very unique smell, but this one doesn't smell like anything. Oh, this oil is fantastic. It is so lightweight. Mm. Wait, I am actually shocked by that oil. It leaves your skin like velvety soft. Oh my God. Goodness. And this little serum is just, this is actually what they're known for. And I haven't actually tried it yet. Let's see. Ooh, it's, Ooh, like, it's very watery. Yeah. It's oh my goodness. My, the back of my palms feel so nourished after using the D program spray. And then now with this one more, Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu. We've raved about Dr. Wu for so long now. I read the founder of Calderly's book. And so I read so much about resveratrol and egg. It's also one of the most trending ingredients of this year I like to look out for so I've used this almost every single day since I got this back in January. It is so good. It's very plumping. It's very nourishing and then it helps subtly with like fine lines and wrinkles especially if you were to use something like this retinol it's good to have something that's just more mild okay i want to backtrack a little bit to a cleansing oil and i got you one yes that one this was the Ooh. top three at the time this sounds more like rose. that sounds more like me so we buy one each <laughs> The interesting thing is between Japan and Taiwan is that in Taiwan, you're actually required to put ingredients in English. So in all of your packaging, it's all in English. Dude, Japan does not care. They're like, we're keeping <laughs> the secrets with us. <laughs> Definitely on the more viscous and thicker side. Mm. Smells like lemon peely. Immediately pulled out some gunk in my face. This is my test for cleansing oils. If it washes, obviously. I understand the hype. I see why this is a bestseller. Sublime! Sublime! Asia, love it. Asia. I'm scared to open them. Okay, so this one, Ro, this is number one for multiple years Whoa. in Japan. And everyone wow. who's tried it is like, I regret not stocking up on it. Your skin will be reborn. It's got vitamin C. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. So interesting how the sheet masks are stacked inside. Ooh. So far, so good. And it was sold everywhere, so if you guys are in Japan, you can check it out. Next one, I got you the Lululun Tokyo. You can only buy in <gasps> Tokyo. Ooh. Bro, when you use this, like my skin was so bright. I was not expecting it. This is such mm -hmm. a soft cotton. If oh, it's so Japan, cute. It yeah, and the each packaging is made up of like recycled eucalyptus. Wow. So we love limited edition. And then there's this guy. Ooh, yeah, so VT was super popular all over Japan and they just had masks everywhere. So and one's glutathione, so I'm gonna give the glutathione brightening one to her. I will get to sheet mask in a second, <clears throat> but the thing that I am most excited to share with you, because I know you will absolutely love this. So they are one of the up and coming brands in Taiwan. Whoa, it's like a gel. Yes, and then the one that you just opened, I believe it's the Oriental Beauty. Oh my God, it actually smells like tea. Yes, we also have the rice soothing, which is what they're most known for. Oh my God. Like it is cooling because of the texture. It is like the rice one that I've used. It's like subtly brightening. This is so good. I'm gonna try this one. It's like a gel, like it's already kind of dried. <laughs> Definitely a summertime moisturizer because I don't think it'll be enough in the cruel, cruel winters. These type of gel masks are actually so, so, so popular. Yeah, I think because like Asia is really humid. That makes sense. For beloved one, these 
and I believe they're one of the first brands to create the biocellulose type of sheet masks. The most comparable mask to this would be Dr. Jart's the rubber cryo masks, but this is on crack. It's delightful. From Taiwan, they use very traditional Taiwanese ingredients that I grew up eating, and they formulate it into this. It's kind of like hanban in a way. Love that. We are all traditional beauty. This is like the best selling mask in Taiwan. The last one is this 3D skin firming thing. The only reason why I got this is if you turn it to the back, it goes all the way down to your neck. Oh, so I was like, yeah. okay. Whoa. Oh, this hangs on to the ears. Whoa. Whoa. It's crazy. It's got all surfaces covered. Dude, okay. we have a lot of face masks. I know. Okay, let me just show you. There's this eye thing. Ooh, okay. So we know eye cream is not an essential, but it's really nice to have, especially if you have dry skin. And I know you have dry skin, so I bought these for us because they were super popular. It also Ooh. has retinol in it, so it's really good for um, under makeup, mm. filling in those fine lines. Really Wait, I love... I love this. This one just blends into your skin so seamlessly and effortlessly. How smooth wow. is it? Wow. This just instantly. Instant fave. You gave me uh, the sunscreen spray. Oh, <clears throat> yes. I just bought this because I thought it was super interesting that you can spray it on your Whoa. scalp. What are you doing there? You can spray it upside down. You can spray it inside out. <laughs> we do know the Japanese are one of the best at formulating lightweight, yes. usable sunscreens. Uh, let's move on. And to then you got me beauty. You got me hair care stuff, and I think I only got you beauty stuff. Okay, so pick up the pink scalp brush. I know this guy from our last video. Yes. The Yuza scalp brush is one of the most popular scalp brushes right now. And I think it would be perfect for your small hands. For those of you who don't know, Rose has very small, miniature hands. Tiny. Soft Wait, silicone. this is so cute. You can use it on dry hair, like you can even massage it now. Or you can use it after you like shampoo your hair and concentrate on those muscles under here for lifting, circulation from the top, and it just feels so nice. So then you can use it with the prettier, the uh, head spa shampoo. I think you might like this because you're a person who loves clean shampoos. So this one has sea cholesterol and like sea mud to extract mm. excess sebum. This is gonna moisturize your scalp to like restore the balance. Now right now. Next. There is a tiny, teeny tiny souf souffle Pop. blending brush. Ah. Yes. Salone is one of like the top Taiwanese beauty brands. This specific puff is super hyped. Oh! And it's like perfect for that under eye. Oh my god, dead. Boop, 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 boop. The second thing that I literally bought out the entire store of is the 1028 mascara. My dream oh, eyelashes pretty. is no mascara mascara. Like my eyelashes, but better. Yeah. To have every single individual eyelash coated and i believe it's also waterproof so it holds it it's such a chore taking off waterproof stuff that in the box there's a mascara remover ah it's probably just a blend of oils yeah. but it does such a good job at removing instantly any like stubborn mascara waterproofing that you have this thing this is one of like the most popular things. And then there's two more powders from 1028. One is like a dewy and one is an oil. Let the oil powder connoisseur let you know. Wait, you should try this one on all the corners of your face. Look how greasy it's gotten. So I'm gonna try this on the forehead. blood oil it's got like a slight brightening effect the dew block Ooh, so oily 
A good powder will also make your pores look non-existent. This is the oil block. Maybe it's got more like long lasting. Ooh, ooh. It's way more mattifying more quickly. You probably couldn't even tell what the difference is. However, I think I do like the oil block a little bit better. It just feels a little bit more refined. Oh, the melty lip balm. Love melty lip balms. I tried one, the honey one from Japan. But this mm -hmm. is caramel cappuccino! This is the best lip balm that ever used in my life. And you all know I try many, many lip balms and many, many, many lip products. So for the price, it's just, it's divine. And lip balms are up. All right, so what have you got left? Let me see. I have the this cushion that I know is going viral everywhere. Oh yeah. There's porridge. I'm so excited to try this actually. <laughs> and then of course we have the paw paw. Yes. This heals yes, everything. Yes, this does. Okay, and then the final. It's a glow in the dark collectible. This is the chair ring. And this is just me cheering you on from afar. Aww. And you can keep <laughs> this on your desk. I got the rest of our team like the getting ready one. It's like the dressing Aww. ring. So it's like us yeah. dressing up, being our best Aww. selves. Wait, that is so sweet. <laughs> Why see. am I crying all of a sudden? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what is that? It's the less cheer one. <laughs> yes, tell me what to do, drill sergeant. <laughs> Lead me in my life. Wait, <laughs> it's so cute though. Wait, there's a little face on the bottom here. So anyway, so now we have wow. all new skincare to try. Yes. Impressive. Until our next unboxing, let us know what else we should try and we'll see you in the next one. We also listed all the products down below just so you have a list.